Hello Scorpio and welcome to your monthly reading. This is for the month of May 2022 committed love reading. Welcome, welcome guys. I hope you all are doing well and um, this is a general reading Scorpio. It will not resonate with all of you all so please take what resonates, leave the rest. Some things may sound, you know, whatever if you listen to this and take, take again, take what resonates with you. If every word made sense, it would be a perfect world, right? But it won't. So you can feel free to check your moon and rising signs also. And um, you can check your partner, sun, moon, and rising signs as well. If you want to do that. Uh, Scorpio, if you are new to my channel, welcome to Forest for the Trees. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. If you are returning, thank you so much for your trust and support. For your likes and subscribes, all your energies. I appreciate all of you guys. So thank you again. And we will get on with your reading. Scorpio, I'm going to pull three overall cards and overall energy cards. And they will be for both of you. And then I'll pull the tarot. This side will be for you and this side will be for your partner. Again, if you have more than one partner, feel free to check their moon and rising signs or their other sun signs or their sun signs. <laughs> and we will go from there. All right, guys. Scorpio. Nope. 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 Here we go. Scorpio. Committed May 2022. We have the moon. Interesting. The moon is a card of dreams. Um, it could be a card of um, clear these a little bit. They're a little bit jumpy. Could be a card of seeing things clearer, um, being shown something, perseverance, and balance. Nope, direction. Well, I will say balance because that is what I've heard. Um, yeah, I um, I also see if you're waiting for something as a collective, give it a cycle, give it a full a month, give it a month for whatever it is you're manifesting. Um, I almost feel like you're waiting for something. You're waiting for something to see what direction you're going to go in or what, which way you're going to go. You have perseverance. I feel too, um, and I have to say, and it won't resonate with every one of you, every single one of you. I almost feel like a, a fertility issue or fertility um, maybe you're trying to get pregnant. Maybe you're seeing what direction you need to go in. Maybe this is like your last ditch effort before you look for a specialist. I just see this as an egg, honestly. And I just see this as some type of fertility, something that's not being met. And you keep trying and trying and trying and trying. But we'll see what the cards have to say. Um, Especially with the cycle. You could have had a procedure and seeing if it took. And then seeing what direction you're going to go in. I just feel like this has been a long road for you all. Standing your ground. Seven of Wands. Setting your boundaries, not being, you know, not listening to other people, really, really listening to yourself, really following, you know, marching to your drum, marching to the beat of your drum, holding your own. Um, I hope this was, I did this wrong. <laughs> this will be you. Yeah. There we go. Which is fine. Um, that, that would go anyway. I was just putting them out, laying them out the wrong way. I'm sorry. Yeah, because I do three and three. Interesting. All right. High Priestess. Beautiful. Trusting their knowledge. There's a lot of beautiful cards here. I just feel there's such a peace uh, with you all. 
um, together. I feel like whatever it is you're working on, if this is fertility, if this is a baby, if this is whatever you're bringing forth, you're doing this together. You're doing this as a couple. You're in it together. Uh, your pain is their pain. Their pain is your pain. Again, um, standing your ground. I, I just feel like you are battling naysayers. You're battling um, the the opposition and you are, you're, it could be you having hope. It could be, you know, the odds against you and you, you are standing there with, no, this is going to happen. I know this will happen. I know this will, this will work out. Um, you know, again, standing your ground for your passion, your desire, what you want, what you want to manifest, what you want to grow, what you want to, um, what course you want your life to go into in a sense. You have this beautiful card of two of pentacles about balance. Um, I feel like it's holding yourself. Uh, balance is not the right word, even though it's a balance card. It's like holding yourself. Uh, I feel like like perching on the ledge, you know, like precariously holding yourself in a position so things will move or things will flow. Hmm. I feel like you've been going through this a long time with the infinity symbol. It could be a choice. You could have a choice one over the other, making a choice. Making a decision. This one's more appealing to you than this one, possibly. You do have the Empress card. And I have to say, and I don't get this on this, but if this is about fertility and this is about all that, this could be twins. This could be a twins thing also coming in because you have the empress card under it and the empress is a card of fertility it's a card of giving birth it can be giving birth to babies or new ideas it's a card of growth and stability being anchored uh, being grounded feeling the feel right but it's also she's usually really big pregnant in this so it could be that um that fertility that that growth coming in Interesting. The Empress is a card of Taurus. It's a card of growth. Your partner has the High Priestess, Six of Cups, and then the Page of Swords. High Priestess is trusting their instincts, trusting their gut instincts. Um, whatever, you know, you all have going on in your relationship, there's knowledge here. Um, you could have been together a long time. And it's like they don't have to consult the book anymore. They just have to really think about what they want or think about what they want for the family, right? Um having more intuition, having more, um, trusting their inner knowing, their inner guidance. And you too, with this, with this page of pentacles, it's like, um, it could be trying to balance out, you know, if, if there is a pregnancy and how to do that with work possibly. They have the Six of Cups, and this could, um, this is usually a card of nostalgia, remembering how things were. The partner could have come from a big family. The partner could have come from remembering how things were when they were children. Uh, you all could have actually known each other when you were kids, too. That's a possibility. Um, but it's that card of nostalgia, remembering when things were simpler, remembering when there wasn't such a demand on everything. And trying to go back into that mindset, trying to go back into that, um, 
being able to breathe and being able to go with the flow, which is a lot of two pentacles. Just, just go with the flow. Just go with it. Uh, remember when we were young or remember when we were younger and we didn't put all that um, worry and anxiety and all that on ourselves. You know, we had fun. We were childlike. We just did things. You do have Page of Swords here. And this could be a child um, or childlike qualities of a person coming in. There could be a younger person involved in this also. Swords are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They are truth. They are um, new ideas, a new way to do something even coming in. Could come with the high priestess. Your partner might might have this idea of why don't we try this or why don't we do it this way or why don't we try this this way or why don't we go see this person. There could be some dream quality too with the moon. You could have a dream or you could have this vision or they could have had a vision of how you need to pursue or what you need to do forward or move forward. I just find it's interesting that both of your last cards, this can pretend a child with a page. New energy coming in. New action being taken. And you have the Empress. Which can be a card of fertility and a card of growth. But they could have this new, um, a new awareness even coming in their way. It can even be like an aha moment. All right, so let's see what we have. What, what challenge faces you both for this month? Scorpio, what challenge faces you both this month? Three swords. Mm, heartbreak. Um, I think you've been through a lot. Both of you. I think there's been a lot of hurt. Um, especially, again, if it's a fertility issue. There's been a lot of trials and, and not the outcome everyone's seeking. So your challenge is to get over, not get over it, but to uh, take the lessons you learn from it, learning from heartache, learning from pain. Take the lessons you've learned from it and move forward. Um, let your heart heal and move forward. Communicate. Don't forget to talk to each other. If there's been a loss in the family, you both are grieving. You can't say one's bigger than the other. You both are grieving. The action you all need to take. Oh, let me clean that up. All right, the action you all need to take. Scorpio, committed love reading. That's interesting. You have the three and the four of swords. You have this progression also. Um, so these are telling me that you are progressing. You may feel it's a very slow process. You may feel like it's a very, um, a very tumultuous, hard time. And it can be, but you are progressing. So even if you feel like you're not moving and it's very stagnant, know that there's progression because you went from the three to the four. And the four talks about the action you all need to take is honesty and truth. Again, communication. But don't just consume yourself with it. Don't consume yourselves with um, trying to figure out everything in a day or trying to figure out everything. We're going to sit down and we're going to get all this done. You have to take your breaks. You have to take your rest. You have to rest yourself from your head, from getting out of your own heads and um, giving yourself a break, giving yourself some rest. It can be a physical rest where you need to sleep more. It could be getting out and doing something so your head's not in that headspace of thinking about something. Um, almost like if you have a procedure done for f fertility and it could, I don't know, I, I don't know much about it, honestly. I'm just winging this. It could take a, a period before you find out results. Don't just 
think about it. Don't just sit there and just wait, 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 wait. Get out and do things. Live your life. Live your life. And then when you find out answers, then you'll know what directions you need to take. You'll know what, what direction you need to take. You'll know where you need to go when you find out answers. But with these two cards, there could be a very positive outcome with this. You'll have to let me know. Or the outcome you all are wanting. But don't be totally consumed by it. Give yourself a break. Give yourself some rest from this energy. Confusion. And caution. Yes. You know, again, confusion is um, being in that headspace too long. Being in... Um, I, I feel too... Kind of like with this card, it's like listening to a bunch of different everybody's. And, you know, you know what you want. High Priestess, that inner knowledge is there between you and your partner. You all know what you want to do. And you need to stay focused on what you want, but not to the point of illness or not to the point of um, total con consumption, right? You, you can have confusion, but if you... If you're quiet and listen to yourself, you'll know um, it's going to quiet that other people. Uh, you all know the answer. There's not much confusion there if you really stop and uh, pay attention to yourselves and what you are wanting. You have caution. Um, again, I feel like this card is talking to um, you about being careful. Um, talking to you about... Um, Mental health, all the more importance for giving yourself rest. Um, caution is to me talking about pushing yourself too far or pushing yourself um, too much. Remember to have that balance. Remember to have that. Uh, you can have a focus and eye on your prize, but you can't forget your other duties. You can't forget life. Um, having caution to be just focused on one thing and not not living life. Gerber Daisy. Purity, cheerfulness, and innocence. The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive and you will see it. And that's what I think it's trying to say is don't get so caught up in what's going on in your world that you forget to live life. All right, let's see what the book says. Uh, Gerber daisies. The child finds innocent pleasure in picking a daisy and discovering joy when she gives that flower to someone special. When you spread joy around, you will find that you have more than you started with. And I have to say, too, if this is a fertility, um, I almost feel like especially with the perseverance, you've been doing this and doing this and doing this. Um, maybe with this card too, and you come in and, and you communicate to each other, there could be other ways because there's this, you know, this inner knowledge here with the high priestess. It's like there's some type of inner knowledge. There's some type of knowing. There's some type of new direction if you trust your instincts and um, maybe somebody around you that you all can move in a different direction new ideas, right? New ideas with the swords. Somebody's new idea coming in. Different way to take the action. Different way to do something. Same outcome, different way to go about it. All right, guys. Good luck to you all. Good luck, Scorpio. Let me know how this resonates. Um, again, it won't be for everybody, so...
check your other moon and rising signs and see if there's more clarity in those for you if this doesn't make any sense to you um, I do appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this reading, I put out weekly readings every Saturday I post for all the Zodiacs. Um, please um, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those. If, you want, if you're interested in those. If not, that's fine too. Um, I appreciate you all so much and I will see you next month. Scorpio, good luck to you. Bye for now.